Problems involving the use of equipment. Thanks to modern technology, the equipment we use today is designed with diving safety in mind, on condition that each product is used and handled correctly. You must only ever dive with a complete set of equipment that is of the right size and suitable for the type of dive you have planned. You must also have other items of equipment that could be useful in case of an emergency, such as a surface marker bag, a line and reel, and a signalling device. The equipment you decide to take with you must be chosen on the basis of the type of dive being planned and the limits established. Experience and common sense will help you in making these choices. For example, dry suits, dry gloves and full face masks are used to reduce heat loss when diving in very cold water. When diving at sites known to have low visibility, such as caves, wrecks or in murky water, you should choose instruments and gauges with sound alarms and backlit displays which provide you with the information you need to know during the dive. You must always dive with items of equipment you are familiar with. For example, when you dive for the first time with a new or unfamiliar buoyancy compensator, you could have difficulty using the power inflated devices or dump valves. The first few times you dive with heavy or bulky items, for example a video camera or camera housing, or with any new equipment, plan undemanding dives in easy environmental conditions so you can get used to diving with this new equipment with no other worries. Before using any special equipment, such as an underwater scooter, always consult a qualified instructor who will teach you the techniques you need to know so you can use the equipment safely. When buying or hiring equipment, always make sure that it is the right size. A wetsuit that is too big will not provide you with adequate thermal protection. 